Well, we're going to do a little segment here on Halton News called TikTok. And Mike, how many times have you heard that joke to start interviews? You know what? Honestly, that's the first time. Good for you. Really? <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, Mike Heimbach joins me from Able Pest Control, and we're talking ticks. Um, so, Mike, let's first explain uh, what ticks are and what they can do to humans. After all, we are getting into the spring season, and that's when they become active. That's when they become active, and that's when we become active, going out for walks and enjoying the nice weather. And uh, what a, a tick, so a tick is a small insect. You can see it. Uh, typically, what they'll do is they'll climb up on grass or forested areas. And as you're walking past, they don't jump or fly, but they brush off on your leg and they'll grab onto your leg. So they're a blood feeder and they'll inject their mouth parts into your body and start feeding on your blood. Uh, you won't feel it most for the most part. Um, you won't, you may not feel it or notice it. And that's what ticks do. It's like a tiny little vampire bug. Right. Um, so now, now, of course, you do hear ticks. And I think probably for a lot of us, thanks to Avril Lavigne, we know that ticks uh, end in Lyme disease or can trigger Lyme disease. Uh, how does that work? And is it always a guarantee if you get a tick on you, you end up with Lyme disease? So certainly not, but uh, there is a high risk. So ticks now in Canada, and this is this is really the news is that the level of Lyme disease has increased significantly in the last 10 years that uh, it's a, a general statistic now that 30% of ticks have Lyme disease in their stomach. Uh, in some areas, it's over 50%. So if there's a tick on you, it's a fairly high risk that it has Lyme disease. That doesn't mean that you are going to get it. And that's what we're here to talk about today. So not only for humans, this can be a problem, but along with that, this can be a problem for pets as well, specifically dogs who, of course, love running through green spaces. Yes. So it's it, and, and we yeah, I, I, I know two people that I work with uh, recently who've had their dogs pass away from Lyme disease. So it can be fatal and it's very important for your pets. You know, you can do an inspection, check their ears, especially in their head, but uh, talk to your veterinarian about preventative uh, measures to help keep ticks off them. That's that's our recommendation. Now, I know that ticks can be found in the bush, on trails, on grass, as you said. Are there specific things, plants, maybe that they're attracted to that we should be weary of when we're out, you know, on a nature walk? Well, generally, the idea is to try to keep in the center of the trail uh, because they're going to be on the side of the trail and they, you know, they'll brush off on you or a deer or a dog. Um, it's all the same to them. So, the important thing there is when you're out walking, we really recommend that you're wearing, you know, socks, tuck your pants into your socks, have long, wear long pants, you know, gone are the days when you go for a, a, for a walk in the forest with your sandals, you should be very careful because that does generally prevent them from cl clinging to you. Uh, if you wear light colored clothing as well, it's much easier to see them. And that's the important thing is identifying them either immediately before they they attach themselves to you or as soon after as possible to prevent getting Lyme disease, which they can spread into your blood, which can cause real problems for you. Well, let's talk about that, Mike. Uh, you found a tick. It's on you. Now what? So the important thing is to resist the urge to smack it like a mosquito, okay, or to just grab it and pull it off. And that's normally how we react. But what happens is Lyme disease is actually in their stomach and that action of you know grabbing their body and pulling it or slapping it can spread it right through their mouth part into your blood. And that's where you can run into a problem. So if you see it, stay calm. Uh, what we recommend is you uh, you can you can purchase tick pullers from a drugstore or anywhere or a fine pair of tweezers. It's important that you know, you've got a mouth part in your skin. You're trying to either grab it by the head or the mouth part and pull that mouth part out, not the whole body. Right, that pull that mouth part out gently without disturbing the body, and then uh, what you can also do is you can put that in a sandwich bag and take it to your doctor to send away for testing to see if that tick had Lyme disease. Now, is there a specific amount of time in finding it and having to remove it that gives you a better chance of avoiding any you know bad things happening? I don't know if there's a defined amount of time, but the sooner the better. So what we uh, generally recommend is that after a walk in the forest for you or if you're with your children do a physical body check especially your legs but they can move up to your body check your body out and look for ticks because that's you know leaving them and you may roll over and squish one in your sleep or something like that but catching them right away is the most important thing 
Well, listen, we evolved from apes, so be like an ape, check your partner, just pick on through, pick out the ticks carefully, and that's uh, that should be good. Micah, thank you for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank you.